a complete ultralight gear loadout, 12 pounds for only $450. That's crazy talk. What's up backpackers? I'm Dan and welcome to Backpacking Adventures. On this channel, we talk about backpacking, hiking, and gear. And if those interest you and you're new to this channel, consider subscribing, but make sure you hit that bell notification so you don't miss a thing. All right, so today I came up with an entire gear loadout that's 12 pounds for under $450. So when I first started this list, I went through all the budget gear that I own and trying to come up with a few items that I could share with you. It turns out I have almost a complete gear loadout with my budget gear. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over the gear I own and then what I did was I did some research on those three or four items that I don't have, but ultimately it is a complete gear loadout soup to nuts. And when I weighed all this, it was just under 12 pounds. I couldn't believe it. 12 pounds, that's pretty light. So I listed all of this gear that I'm gonna talk about and put links to them in the description so you can easily find them. At the end of the video, I'll put a list up so that you can pause and look at it and it will list weight in ounces, grams, and pounds, as well as the price and where to get it. So there's a lot of items to go over, so I'm gonna go over them pretty quickly. I'm not gonna get into too much detail about the specs, but the links I provide will take you to where you can find anything you need to know about them. So let's get into that gear. The first thing I wanna talk about is the Basina two-person tent. You can get this off of Amazon. It weighs roughly four pounds, almost five pounds, and it costs about $50. The next item I wanna talk about is the Outdoor Products Arrowhead Mammoth Backpack. This backpack costs about $43, and it weighs just under two pounds. Next item is a quilted down throw blanket. This blanket is about, is just under a pound. It's about 14 ounces. It costs $25. It's full synthetic insulation and it's for the outdoors. It's perfect. It'll also get you down to about 45, 50 degrees at night. Next item is the Thermarest sleeping pad. I have one. Now you'll see I did cut it down in half. I use this as a sit pad, but this thing works great. It's cheap. It's very lightweight. The full one weighs less than 10 ounces and it only costs about $35. That's pretty cheap. And when you're on the trail, you can also double it as a sit pad. Perfect. Next is the Trekology Ultralight Inflatable Pillow. This pillow is great. I still use this. Very comfortable. This only costs about $16 on Amazon. Perfect. Next is the stove. This is the BSR 3000 Ultralight Stove. Look how tiny. This thing is teeny tiny. Can you imagine? I've used this thing for about a year and a half. It worked great for me every time. The legs come up. You put your pot on. It has adjustable uh, throttle for the gas. This thing is great. This thing is perfect for ultralight backpacking. It weighs less than an ounce, and you can get this for about $15 on Amazon. Just how tiny that is. Teeny tiny. Next item is your spoon. These are the Tokes Long Handled Spoon and Spork. You can pick whichever one you have, but these are long handled with a polished bowl. These are perfect for getting into those mountain house meals, and they only cost about $15. Next item is this little mug by Ozark Trail. This is about 18 ounces, so it's plenty of water for coffee and to cook uh, your mountain house meals. It has handles, it's made of stainless steel, it's pretty light, and your fuel canister and your stove can, can nest right inside. It can all fit together. It's only about $5 at Walmart. Next for your water filtration, I recommend the Sawyer Squeeze. It's about $37 on Amazon, and it'll last you a very long time provided you take care of it. It weighs about three or four ounces, it's pretty light, and it's easy to use. For water storage, just buy a smart water bottle. They're durable, they last a very long time, and they're cheap, and you can easily replace them at almost any store. As far as electronics, you're gonna need to be able to see at night. Now, this is a headlamp that I use and I highly recommend. As a matter of fact, uh, I did a review on this, so you can check that out. I'll put a link up in the cards. This is a Nightcore NU25 headlamp. The one thing I like about this, besides it's light and it's rechargeable, is it's very simple. And if anybody knows me, I don't like anything complex. It has two simple buttons, on off for the white, on off for the red. It is perfect and it's rechargeable. And this thing weighs about one ounce and it's tiny small and light and this will cost you about $35 on Amazon. So you're going to need to be able to charge your headlamp and your cell phone on the trail. This is the Anchor 6700 milliamp. It costs about $25. If you're going out for just a night or two, this thing is perfect. This is plenty of power to power your cell phone. Now for your first aid kit, I keep mine in this little Dyneema pouch. 
but you don't need to do that. You can just use a plain old Ziploc bag. That'll work fine. And this is small because I don't really carry that much. You most likely have almost everything you need already in your house for your first aid kit. Just a couple band-aids, tweezers, safety pin for those blisters, and a few other items. I recently just did a video on what is in my first aid kit. Check that out. It'll give you a lot of ideas. So it's always good to have a knife. This is the Victorinox Swiss Army knife. It's teeny tiny, but it really it has everything you need. You don't need a big bushcrafting knife. As a matter of fact, I only used this once last year to open up a meal packet. Now this has a blade, it has a file with a little screwdriver, which if you have trekking poles, it can help you adjust them. It has little scissors you can use for repair or trimming, whatever. Uh, it also has tweezers, which you can use them instead of in your first aid kit and a toothpick. This thing is perfect. And I don't think a lot of people know this, but this glows in the dark too. So if you drop it, you can find it. This will cost you about $16 on Amazon and it's worth it. Another item that a lot of people overlook is a whistle for safety so you can call for help. It only costs about $5, but it also has a compass, a thermometer, which is very handy, and a magnifying glass if you are like me that need reading glasses to read those tiny, tiny little print on the paper maps. This thing is very nice. Next is a base layer for your packed clothes. It's always important no matter what time of the year that you have some kind of extra clothes to help keep you warm because you never know when the temperature is going to drop. This is a 32 degree base layer top. This is what I use. It costs about $15 on Amazon. It's perfect and I still use this. Next are your leggings. These cost about $18 and again this is from 32 degrees. This thing, these things are very warm. Now next is rain gear. You're going to want to always carry rain gear with you at all the time. Even if it doesn't rain or you're not expecting rain because it can also be another layer of warmth. I use it to keep warm and I also use it as a wind jacket for those windy mornings. Now you can buy a pair of frog togs. They come with a pair of pants and a raincoat. They cost about $18. They're very light as a matter of fact. Now they're not as durable as some other rain gear. So just don't go bushwhacking through the woods with them. Next is a puffy coat by Goodfellow and Company. This thing is about $35 and you can get this at Target. Now you may be thinking, Dan, you have all this little tiny gear. Is it just going to fly all over my backpack? Well, no. You can get these pack of three dry bags for only $10 off of Amazon and they are from Outdoor Products. And I've used these for quite a few years. So basically you get three. So here, this big one is your food bag, your clothes bag, and your ditty bag for all those small things very cheap. It's three bags for only 10 bucks. Come on. It's perfect. So now you're wondering, well, what am I going to sit on? Well, you can get the Thermarest Z seat. This is about $15 on Amazon. I've used this for a long time. It kind of got a lot of wear and tear on it, but this thing is perfect. It'll keep your butt warm and dry on the ground. Or like I said, you could just use your Thermarest foam pad if you really wanted to. Well, that's it for the gear loadout. And again, it's under 12 pounds and it's everything you're going to need. You can always add to it and take away if you want, but this is basically the minimum of what you should take. And again, I have links to all this gear in the description. So check that out if you want to get more detail with the specs. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. And as always, thank you for watching and see you next time.